Hello, I'm Sonica Tiagi reporting on behalf of Ms. Beth Ann Bovino, the Deputy Chief Economist at Standard & Poor's. Well, the housing market isn't picking up speed to much disappointment. This week showed that housing starts tumbled in March. The surprise in the report was a hefty drop in multifamily home construction. And to add more fuel to housing market worries, builder confidence for April fell three notches from the March level. But although U.S. consumers aren't buying up homes in large numbers right now, they sure were confident in opening up their wallets a little more at the malls in March. So let's start off with the good news first. U.S. retail sales increased nearly a percent in March and did so even when not accounting for auto sales. Sales experienced a similar gain in February. The March increase beat market expectations. When not accounting for volatile gasoline, autos and building materials altogether, retail sales also advanced. Consumer spend broadly as 11 of 13 categories showed increases, including electronics helped by iPad sales, clothing, sporting goods and furniture. Building material sales jumped in March as the weather likely provoked consumers to launch renovations and yard work earlier this year. But while consumers work on fixing up their current homes, the housing market is still looking for a boost. Builder confidence in the market for newly built single-family homes cooled off for the first time in seven months in April. The National Association of Home Builders Wells Fargo Housing Market Index slipped three points. The index is now where it was in January, which was the highest level since 2007. Consumers continue to remain constrained or hesitant in the home purchasing process. However, the index has gained over 10 points since September 2011, keeping the optimism that the housing market is finding a bottom still alive. But the news from the latest U.S. Housing Starts report dilutes some of that optimism. Starts decreased more than expected in March, plummeting largely on a hefty nearly 20% fall in the multi-unit building category. Single-family housing starts, which made up about a third of all starts last month, declined to a far lesser degree. The good news in the report was that the number of new housing permits saw the best monthly gain since September 2008 in March. This rise suggests healthy building activity for the months to come. Housing starts still remain up over last year, but the report is another one to add to the list of recent modest housing data, which continue to highlight the lackluster recovery in the housing sector. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sonica Tiagi reporting on behalf of Ms. Beth Ann Bovino, the Deputy Chief Economist at Standard & Poor's.